Hi, this is Coach Michelle Johnson for Team Knockouts. I'm also an IFBB Pro and I judge competitions for MPC. I'm talking to you now about Peak Week. The ladies who are entering the MPC Baltimore Gladiator Championships are about to do their Peak Week. It starts tomorrow. However, these guidelines are very different than the normal bodybuilders do. The problem with our industry is that everyone thinks they know how to do peak week effectively, but they don't. So the most important thing is to understand that each division may approach peak week very differently. So coaches, reserve your judgments. If you have not trained an abundance of bikini competitors like I have, you may find that what you're doing may not work for bodybuilders that are in bikini. As I um, have pulled here, there's some information online about all kinds of peak weeks, and I know that some novice competitors who want to attempt this themselves and try to find the cheaper way of competing, I would not be surprised if your efforts don't work. It is a very advanced way of uh, nutrition and training combined the final week before your show, which can make or break you. So personally, I wouldn't take a chance with that. I'd make sure that I have a seasoned professional working with me to handle my peak week, since this is how you're going to really show um, the final work that you've done. If you haven't done your homework properly, peak week is not going to help you. So just keep that in mind. Um, peak week is, again, treated differently. So I, I'm really not going to get into all the details. I have written an article on this that you can search for um, called What Does Peak Week Look Like for Bikini Competitors? And it's on Rx Girl under rxmuscle.com. Um, basically, the one thing you want to understand is that if you have too much water retention and you're um, looking very lean or let's say you're looking too full and you want to look leaner, you know, there is technique to this. So you want to treat each situation differently. If I have somebody that's water levels are really low, I want to make sure they're going to come into their show full enough and not look like a refugee on crack. So I'm going to do everything I can to fill them out using carbs and healthy fats combined. And then I may do more of a bodybuilder's approach. However, if I have a girl that still didn't quite lean out the way I'd like and I'm really dealing with a lot of water, I would approach it differently. I might go with more whitefish, asparagus. Um, asparagus is a natural diuretic, so it's super effective during a dry out. And that's somebody that I would dry out versus the person who looks too lean that I would carb load. And um, again, carb loading doesn't mean overload. It means some small carbs with healthy fats and that combination helps bring the skin tight to the muscle and it's a very nice finished look and this is what the judges know that are experienced they know if you did your dry out or your carb loading cycling correctly so they will be able to tell you cannot cheat your work if you did your homework and you did it right and you knew what you were doing with your balance your symmetry um, you've got good front to back muscular balance the judges are going to see all this and give you recognition for it. You might think you look good because, you know, relatively speaking, you might have lost a lot of weight. Maybe you look your all-time best. But it is a sport, so keep that in mind. They're looking at this balance overall and making sure your water levels are on point and where they need to be. For a bikini, you don't want to be too soft and you don't want to be too hard. It's just a nice toned look for an amateur level. And it used to be girls that didn't even look like they barely went to the gym, but now I think that they are looking for shape. The balance has to be there with the upper and lower body, a nice tiny waist, full glutes. And, you know, there is, again, artistry and science combined here. If you are not an advanced nutritionist or a master trainer, I don't suggest that you attempt, uh, attempt <laughs> peak week on your own. Um, and nor do I suggest you take on competitors if you lack that experience because you can dehydrate someone and put them in the hospital or yourself in the hospital. So take that advice seriously. I wish you all the best during peak week if you should enter a show and approach it. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me, michelle at michellefitness.com. I do have a shape and show program that I can offer for those of you that have done your homework and are ready. But if I don't feel that your balance and symmetry are there, I'm not going to take responsibility for your 
final phase and that week I will deny you because I want to make sure that anyone under my wing is going into a show ready and that's always in your best interest even if you don't like hearing that so have a great evening and I will be in touch with you soon bye